In this video, let me consider two numericals on Milman's theorem. Use Milman's theorem to find current I for the circuit shown below. And second one is use Milman's theorem to find current I for the circuit shown below. So here the current I is flowing in phi J phi ohm register. We supposed to find I current which is flowing in this branch. Similarly, here we supposed to find the current I which is flowing in load register RL. Let me consider the first numerical. This is the circuit of first numerical. In Milman's theorem, the Milman's theorem can be applied only if voltage source supposed to be in series with register. Here we can see that 4 volt source is in series with 2 ohm. Here 8 volt source is in series with 3 ohm. Here we can find a current source is in parallel with 4 ohm register. First I will convert this current source into voltage source so that the voltage source will come in series with register. Then we can easily apply Milman's theorem. So let me convert this current source and this register which are parallel to each other by applying source transformation. I can convert this into voltage source. We know that V is equal to I into R. So V is equal to here I is 5 volt into register is 4. Therefore magnitude of voltage source is 20. So this 20 volt voltage source will appear in series with 4 ohm register. Now let me redraw the circuit. So here this is the voltage source the magnitude of that is 20 that is plus minus 20 because arrow mark is up direction. So this end is positive this end is negative. This same register will come in series with this. So this circuit and this circuit are same. Now here we can see that all voltage source are having a register in series with them and those combinations are in parallel. Now we can easily apply Milman's theorem. So in Milman's theorem, the branch in which current is flowing, that branch we supposed to remove. We supposed to make that branch open. Here, let me consider this is A node and this is B. This is branch AB. I supposed to make A and B open so that I can apply Milman's theorem. Now let me open this AB. So this is A, this is B, here this is 4 ohm and this is magnitude is 20 volt. The Milman's equivalent circuit looks like this. That is we have a register, we will call it as RM and a voltage source, we will call it as VM will come in series like this. This is A terminal and this is B terminal. This is Milman's equivalent circuit. So here Vm is Milman's voltage and Rm is Milman's resistance. So now we are supposed to calculate Vm and Rm. So Vm can be calculated as by using the formula Vm is equal to V1 into G1 plus V2 into G2 plus V3 into G3 divided by G1 plus G2 plus G3. So here G1, G2, G3 are reciprocal of resistance R1, R2, R3. So, so now let R1 is 2 ohm. Therefore G1 is equal to 1 upon 2. R2 is 3 ohm. Therefore G2 is equal to 1 by 3. Let R3 is 4 ohm. Therefore, G3 is reciprocal of that. So that is 1 by 4. So now let me calculate Vm. Let V1, this is V1. Let this is V2. Let this is V3. So V1 is 4 into G1. G1 is 1 upon 2. That is nothing but 0 0.5 plus V2 is 8 volt. So here we can see that V2 is the polarity of V2 is such that this end is minus and this is plus. Therefore, V2 will be minus 8 here. So here V2 is minus 8 into G2 is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is nothing but 0 0.333 
plus we have v3 again polarity is same as v1 so it is positive that is 20 into we have g3 that is 1 by 4 which is nothing but 0 0.25 0 0.25 whole divided by we have g1 plus g2 plus g3 so g1 is 0 0.5 plus g2 is 0 0.333 plus g3 g3 is 0 0.25 now let me simplify this expression. So the value of numerator is 4.336 and denominator will be 1.083. Now solving this I will get Vm is equal to 4 volt. So now thus we found Vm which is equal to 4 volt. Now let me calculate Rm. So Rm will be given by the formula Rm is equal to 1 upon G1 plus G2 plus G3 which is equal to 1 upon G1 is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.333 plus 0 0.25 which is equal to 1 upon that is 1.083. So we'll take reciprocal of this, we'll get 0 0.923. So thus we found Milman's voltage Vm and Rm. Now at terminal AB which is open, now we're supposed to connect the load which was already connected. So here the load is phi u and j5 that I supposed to connect here. That is phi and it is j5. So assume that now current I is flowing in this circuit, therefore current I is equal to Vm by total resistance that is Vm divided by here Rm value is 0 0.923. So it is 0 0.923 plus phi plus j phi. Therefore solving this I is equal to Vm is 4 divided by 5.923 plus j5 so solving this it gives 0 0.394 minus j 0 0.332 amps so it is better to keep the current value in polar form therefore i is equal to in polar form it gives 0 0.516 at an angle of minus 40.16 degree amps. So this is the current which is flowing through the load register. While converting rectangular form to polar form, make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. So this is the solution for the first problem. Now let me consider the second numerical which is also on Milman's theorem. So this is the second circuit. Here we are supposed to find current I which is flowing through the load register RL using Milman's theorem. So as we know here each register is in series with the voltage source. We can apply Milman's theorem to this circuit. So first remove the branch in which we are finding the current. So assume that this is branch AB. In, this, in AB we are finding the current. I will make it open. I will redraw the circuit. So now the circuit looks like this as I made A and B open, I removed the 20 ohm register that we supposed to use later to the Milman's equivalent circuit. So here we supposed to convert this circuit to Milman's equivalent circuit which is nothing but Milman's equivalent resistance that is Zm and Milman's equivalent voltage that is Vm. And this is the same terminal A and B. We supposed to convert this circuit to this form. So here let me consider this as V1, this as V2 and this as V3. Let this is Z1. So here we are using Z1, Z2, Z3 because it's a AC circuit. Usually for AC circuit, we'll write the resistance as impedance. This is Z3. So now let me find the Milman's voltage Vm. The Milman's voltage Vm 
is given by the formula voltage Vm is equal to V1 Y1 where Y1 is reciprocal of impedance that is admittance plus V2 Y2 plus V3 Y3 whole divided by Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. Now let me substitute the values. V1 is 20 angle 30 into y1 y1 is 0 0.1 more 0 0.1 plus v2 is 10 angle 0 so angle is 0 we can ignore that 0 that is 10 into y2 is minus 0 0.1 j more that is minus j 0 0.1 and v3 is minus 15 angle 45 minus 15 angle 45 into we have y3 is plus j 0 0.1 more that is j 0 0.1 whole divided by we have y1 plus y2 plus y3 that is 0 0.1 minus j 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.1 any of these two will get cancelled now we'll try to simplify this therefore vm is equal to so solving this we'll get vm is equal to 29.87 at an angle of minus 20.79 this is Milman's voltage while solving this make sure that calculator is in complex mode now let me calculate Milman's impedance that is Zm or Rm which is equal to 1 upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 which is equal to 1 upon so here y1 is 0 0.1 minus j 0 0.1 plus j 0 0.1 which is equal to 10 ohms these two will get cancelled 1 upon 0 0.1 is 10 now let me draw the equivalent circuit that is we have vm and here we have Zm which is equal to 10 and Vm is 29.87 at an angle of minus 20.87. So now to this we have to connect, connect 20 ohm register which is RL that is 20 ohm the current through this is I. Therefore, I can write I is equal to Vm divided by 10 plus 20 that is 30 which is equal to 29.87 at an angle of minus 20.79 whole divided by 30. Solving this we will get I is equal to 0 0.995 at an angle of minus 20.79 amps so it is good practice to keep voltage values and current values always in polar form so this is the current which flows through load register rl and this is solved using wilman's theorem this is the final result thank you for watching